So for this card, I'm using the Bubbles Edition set with the baby stamp and die set there and then the main 3D display cards and stand die set. This is going to be a shaker. I may add lights as well, I'm not sure, but I've got these little polystyrene balls. I've got the larger ones and the small. I might mix them together so they just look like bubbles. And then I've already gone and cut everything I need here. So first of all, so you want to cut yourself three of these strips and that's using this die, which has got all of the crocodile teeth. And then you've also got your matte layer die. So if you want to add pattern paper, maybe do some stenciling, different colored card, whatever, then you've got that one and you'll see that on other samples. I've then cut the base, this one here. So if you do have a battery, you can hide the battery pack in this part or you can seal it off completely. You could also use it as a gift box and actually have a little gift in there. Then I've cut two of the largest half oval shape there, one for the front, one for the back. And then for the front, I've just cut the blue in the next size down and then white again in the smallest. And I've heat embossed the baby shower from this one here. You've got your swinging mechanism there. Again, I think if I don't add lights, it could be quite fun to have one of the ducks possibly swinging. So again, when we get to that part, I may cut those, but you'll just want one of this one and one of that one. I tend to do that in cardstock and this piece in acetate so you don't see it. And then on the back, you've got all your circles here. So you want to cut the largest one for the back there. And then I've cut it again in this blue. And what I've done is I've used the little footprints die and I've just die cut there. I just thought against the white, it looks quite sweet. So I might have that slightly off to the side there, maybe. And then if I do have something swinging, it will be there. And then all the bubbles and stuff will be below. You then want to cut another one with your acetate and I've already just added some double sided tape around the edge there. So first of all, we want these ones here and we want the circle here for the back. I've just peeled back the backing here on the double sided tape because you can see there's a little arrow. It's always at the end where you haven't got the tabs. So you've got your little tab here at the other end. One, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh little tooth in, you'll have a little arrow and it'd be the same for this side as well. You can just see it there, okay? And you want to cut across from those arrows. So I'm just going to go from this side because I've got my sticky tape on. And then just cut right across like so. If you'd rather use a trimmer for that, you can do. And then take another one. And you're going to stick those two together. So I'm just going to use my quick grab glue. Like so. And then just lay that one down over the top. Now when this is joined, the, the diameter of this will be the same as this circle. So it will match perfectly. Just give that a minute to dry. I'm then going to take the backing off of this side. Just do one side at a time and just make sure the teeth are all pushed in. And then just get the first one down. You want it to come right up to the edge of the circle there. And then just start to stick it down, just following the shape or the curve of the circle there. You can use a liquid glue that will give you wiggle, you know, kind of time and space if you have laid it down wrong. But if you're pretty steady and take your time, you can see how easy it is. And you can also do it this way. So I'm just looking, you know, I'm pushing down with my left hand here and just looking to the right just so I can see how far out to push. You can see that way works as well, but just find a method that works and one that you feel you've got the most control with. And then you'll see there as you get to the end and then just add your glue to that tab and then you can sit that one down. I must have gone out a little bit bigger, but that's okay. 
to make sure it's all nice and straight. For the first time I've come out a little bit bigger, but you can cover that with your matte layer, so don't worry. This one will then go inside and cover up all of the teeth. So I'm just going to use my construction glue, so this is nice and strong. And I'm going to have the joins on the side. And this one, I want the footprints kind of off to the right. So just drop that one in. And then just use something that you can go over and just smooth that all down. Okay, so next I'm going to take two of these because I want to start building up inside the card now. I'm going to stick these back to back. And you want to keep the tabs exposed like so. And then add your glue to the bottom. And then these can go anywhere you want. So if you've got something that you want to have hanging down, maybe like a bird, something that's flying, then you could have one at the top. You can have as many as you want as well. And you can double them up. But I'm going to have this one. I want the footprints like so. So I'm going to have this one in the middle, bottom, like so. And then using the large die here, I've cut it twice and stuck them back to back. So that's nice and strong. That's my main frame. I've then cut it again and just snipped off the frame because I want this one to go inside here. And I'm going to stick it just maybe a little bit higher because this frame's going to be down lower and I'm going to build up more bubbles on top of it. So I'm just going to add some glue on there. So don't worry about how this is all looking right now. Once you add the frame, it's going to really strengthen it. But now when that stands up, because I've got all the shaker bits to go in, so that will keep it upright. But you can see it will be like that. OK, so cut your frame. I'm then going to stick the acetate behind this. Now, I do need to trim the bottom of it because obviously you're going to see it coming off there. So I'm just going to actually I don't need all that. Let's cut that off there and then I'll add some more tape along that bottom bit. I just want to get maybe that way snip that off just want it hidden yeah that's fine take your backing off make sure you're giving it a good clean and then where you've got the little bit there you're not going to see it i've got all these bits all these kind of bubbles to layer up so that's going to be fine. These are pretty forgiving. So if you've got, you know, maybe you're not completely happy with your finish, you could add pom-pom trim. You could add so much more decoration on top. So don't worry at this point. So I'm just going to imagine that's going to be stuck over there. I'm going to tidy it all up in a minute. Next, I just like to snip these away just so they don't come into your frame. All the addition frames are different. So some you won't see it others you will so just snip off just the the tips really the the adhesives on there so i know there's enough to secure it onto the frame okay so i don't want that falling back so i'm just going to add some glue on here and on here i'm just going to trim off a little bit off the top i just want to show you different ways to use these because everyone's going to have different things i'm going to stick it behind the bubble there and then on the back my frame's going to cover the rest, so I'm not worried, but just keep it lined up like so. And then I'm going to take this one and do the same. There we go. That keeps that all secure now. So I've cut all of these pieces here and they are all the bubbles here. So I'll just run the dies through in silver, blue and in white, I think. Oh no, because I've got the white there. So just silver and blue and then the ducks. I've just die cut them in yellow and white, stuck them together, and then I've just added accent glaze onto the little wings there. And I've cut the little bear and the baby suit from this set, and I might add some of the blocks as well, but that will all go on the front when I've put it together. But I need to get all of this ready inside. So I think maybe we'll start adding some more of these you don't have to use different colours if you don't want, but I quite liked the silver kind of catching the light. And then the blue, you can pop them on foam as well. 
There really is no right or wrong with this. I'm just trying to show you a process on how I'm doing this. It's going to be different for, for everybody. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Like I said, once you seal this, that's it. So you do need to be sure that you don't want to add anything more. So next I'm going to add these. I'm going to put them all in, I think. And I'm just going to carefully bring it up. Yeah, see, they're going to sit really nicely. So I'm going to add a few of these as well. Yeah, I think the mix of them looks really cool. Oh, add a few more. There we go. So now I want to take the backing off of and then make sure you've got everything up the way that you want it in the right direction and then i'm going to where you've got your joins that's where you want to start attaching it first and then i'm just going to focus all along the top and i can feel it with my finger there the edge of the the box as it's attaching to the frame and you'll see then you get that circle shapes it's, it's a trust the process and then just let it catch underneath there there we go okay there we go that is such a fun card I added the little hearts there in the top as well also make sure your acetate's clean just give it a wipe with rubbing alcohol but I'm really pleased with that. I think it's such a nice style. So now I can finish with the decoration. So I'm going to, before I do that, I want to do the base. So you want to take this one and these two. We'll do all of that in a moment. So it's exactly the same way. Again, you've got where those two arrows are. Let me just take the backing off there just so I can see where I'm cutting. It's because I prepared all this to do the demos okay and then I'll take that off and then again start with the end here make sure I don't think I've put a curve into this it feels too straight it will really make a difference adding that shape and then it, it really does curve at the ends here so make sure you start off with this all parallel and then again I'm pinching it with my left hand and just watching that top all the way to the end and then really bend that in and you'll see it will meet perfectly and you want that to be able to fold that tab fold in like so and then again just taking the backing off fold those all in make sure it's all straight first and then start adding and then just follow. It's much easier when you do the second side because it's already in the shape that it needs to be. You can see it's quite quick. But again, make sure when you get to the end, you really bend that around like so. And then for this one, add your glue along your tab there. And then sit this one over the top now I'm going to be closing this box off but if you want to keep it open if you want to turn it into a little gift box then just fold in the sides and this end and you've got your hidden compartment there or you can hide the battery but I'm going to seal this off completely so I'm just going to add my glue and then just push in the sides there and that end like so and then you can just apply a little bit of pressure but that will all stick down okay so now that's going to stick on the top like so but you don't also have to have the bubbles as the bottom you know it could be towards the top here i'm showing another i've got other samples where i use it with the champagne so it's champagne bubbles it's not bath bubbles so you know different ways to use it different orientations so i'm just going to use my hot glue here i prefer using the hot glue to stick this together but you know 
use what you prefer and I'm just going to add a nice bead of glue on the top there and then making sure this is all up the right way placing that one on the top like so just give that a minute to cool and set okay so then I've got my sentiment to go on the top there and then all these extra pieces so I'm going to build up the bubbles on the top here if you've got a little bit showing like I have there, I mean, that's going to be easily covered. So I'm just going to do that. And then with these ones, I'm going to have one either side like that. And then I want to have another duck. I might just sit him just behind there. So he's on the acetate. And then the smaller one will be kind of maybe there. Something like that. I think that looks quite sweet. And there's the finished card. I think this makes such a cool baby shower card. And like I said, with a little gift or a gift card in the base there. I think it's lovely. And it's a really nice keepsake as well, which is what these cards are all about. And then you've got all your space on the back there to be able to write your message. So I'll share the tutorial for the separate gift bag that will fit these display cards in. And all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box below. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. I really love it. I've loved them all. I think I'm having so much fun with this um, release. Also, it wouldn't be a made to surprise tutorial if I didn't add some more accent glaze. So I think I'm going to add some glaze to the heart there and on the bear's nose and maybe the ears. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from me today. If you have, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.